Det er... Hello. 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 And welcome to our show. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. And welcome to the show. Someone asked on the previous one if the BBC came to us and offered us a chat show, would we take it? No. <laughs> Could you imagine Absolutely. us being... Could you imagine... We wouldn't. Could you imagine us getting away with half the shit we get away with? Of course we wouldn't. Just, we couldn't do it now we because do we're it. just so too relaxed. We're too relaxed. We're just too ourselves. And People, we'd have to go, hello. Yeah, we'd have to button Welcome. ourselves up. That is the BBC. Or I'd have to have a stupid voice like I had in Eating in the Sun. Do a BBC voice. Welcome to the BBC. Welcome to the BBC. Or in the olden days... Welcome to the BBC. It's so marvellous to have you all uh, that, here that with us. That was certainly in the very, very old days. Yes. This is, this is the BBC. Mm. My head is so hot. Why didn't you just take well, your effing hat off? Because my hair has gone flat. I've got flat head. Good mm. morning. Good morning. I love it. Tomorrow. It's, it's a fail it's safe. Advent calendar day hey, we've done the same thing with the girls haven't got advent calendar well we have to go and get one in the morning we have to go out first we thing miss and get it an advent every calendar. single year the poor girl, maddie said to me said that uh, yesterday today she said dad why have you never been able to get us an advent calendar on time why don't they get us an advent bloody calendar and then i said to her actually hang on a minute guys i did i bought you a pringles one and i found all the boring pringles still in the advent calendar upstairs it is the last night shift that is for sure but no last night shift this. is tomorrow no. The last night oh, yeah, of tomorrow lockdown. Night. Yeah. Tomorrow night's the last night shift, but that Aww. is because Vlogmas is coming yeah. and we can't do much because Mark will mostly be editing yeah. in the evening. So it's not like you're mm. losing something, be you're gaining, gaining something. something. You'll be gaining something. Yeah. 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 Now listen, it's the oddest collection of headline titles. Lawrence Fox, Top Shop, Scotch Eggs and more. Do you mm. like a Scotch Egg? Mm. I like a homemade one. I don't like a rubbery cold one from a plastic box. I know Skylies. Yes, one thousand three hundred forty-six oh, wow. pounds raised yesterday by you, brilliant lot. That's amazing. For missing people, and I cannot thank you. Hi, Val Goddard. That's enough. amazing. I'm so moved. We've that been is talking amazing. about it all day. I forgot to say. Yeah, that is amazing. Well done, guys. Um, Look at this. Lawrence, somebody's quoting the headline. Yeah, Lawrence love us. Fox, Top Shot, Scotch Eggs and more. Yeah, oh, lots more. Lots more. Um, so the story with the Scotch Egg, which I really wanted to share with you because I thought it was a funny one, is on the BBC News uh, website. Anyone that's going to miss the night shift, just watch the Vlogmas last thing at night. Yeah. Uh, drinkers in Tier 2 areas of England could order a Scotch Egg with their pint to keep in line with both Oh, the things, it's going ridiculous. No, but I love this country. We it's have so rules British. about board games and now a Scotch egg oh, qualifies. God. What makes it qualify as a substantial meal? I don't know. I suppose because it's egg and sausage. Egg, sausage and I mean, an batter. egg is, don't forget, it's only vitamin C that isn't in, a, in an egg. Yeah. Downing so. Street has not ruled out tier two drinkers being able to order a Scotch egg. Is this real? <laughs> Is this real? Yeah, is this what we've got to? But would not set out the difference between a snack and a meal. Is this what we've got to? The Prime Minister's official spokesman said, said I'm obviously, obviously not, not going to get into... into the detail of every possible meal. Yeah, at which point apparently Boris Johnson threw a Scotch egg at the reporter. No, he didn't. Don't lie. He said, I think a Scotch egg, he referenced it, probably, probably would, would count, count as, as a substantial meal. meal. If there was table service. That's a weird sound. I can't believe we've got can't to this. I can't believe it. Next, it'll be a bag of pork scratchings know. and a pint, Ashley. You're absolutely right. Um, Elaine Stubbs, thank you for my birthday tune. I love Scotch eggs. Couldn't have one with my birthday drink. I'm a Geordie in Glasgow. Mm. Yeah, no, it's true. So, yes, yeah, Scotch eggs. And then, of course, Topshop, Arcadia, the holding company for Topshop, we talked about it last night, has gone into receivership. Though it doesn't necessarily mean that the 13,000 people working for them are immediately out of work. There might well be a sort of... Uh, I don't know, a sort of fire sale of it to someone else for a very cheap price. But um, Do you think Philip Green has just held his hands up and given up? Yes. I think he'll never come back to the UK. I think he's sat on a yacht and I think he's just going to stay wherever he is. Mm. That's what I think. That is what I think. Um, but your story, Lauren Fo Lawrence Fox, I mentioned him earlier this morning because he was being a bit of a smart ass. Well, the thing is, he tweeted today saying, I had a lovely large gathering for lunch uh, where we ate and drank and chatted and hugged, and it was marvellous. Yeah, um, here he is. Uh, the last line being, I think, something like... What was the last line of it? Uh, 
where was it? Trying to find his... Uh... His actual quote, something about, if you don't... Here we go, go up, 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 up. Yeah. There we go. So, uh, you'll never... It was love. So, here is his actual direct. Just had a large group over to lunch and we hugged and ate and talked and put the world to rights. It was lovely. You'll never take that away from people. Stay out, protect your rights. If the NHS can't cope, then the NHS isn't fit for purpose. Compliance is violence. That was the last line. Oh, but you said that a nurse has come back in. So a nurse has retweeted it with, look, with her face, look, yeah, where all yeah. the mask well, has the been on. Been... Just held a person's hand as they died alone without their family or loved ones by their side. Glad you enjoyed your meal. Oh, that's but look at her hitting. face from the mask. We Exhausted. all know how much we can't bear that mm. mask. For, I yeah. mean, we all wear them when we go out. But, oh, my God, they're so uncomfortable and they're not tight like that. No. And we pull them down when we can't be heard and all of this. And... Here's the other thing. I mean, again, I suppose Lawrence Fox is trying to give articulation to the expression that not everyone wants to observe the rules and, mm. and all that kind of stuff. And that's a, an opinion. But I think there's a difference between doing it and then promoting it as a kind of great, you know, the only way forward with some sort of... It's about I just don't like it, it when people say that their way is the only way. Yeah. Or sneer at people that don't agree with their way. I think it's absolutely people's rights to disagree with... Everything. What's being, you know, the route yeah. that is being taken. And I think, you know, we live in a democracy. But I think to just flout it like that mm. i think it's just well it just incites all sorts of behaviors and i yeah. just think it's wrong i agree if you want to have your group of people around to lunch and you think that that's because you're not scared of this virus and you're all young enough that it's not just tick tick quiet you know why yes. do you have to why do you have to show off he i think he just likes to inflame people for the sake of it mm. Yeah, no, I but I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell, tell you it. one tell thing. Tell us it for nothing. I don't think this is the last pandemic we're going to have. And I think any government now that continues to make cuts at the NHS, because the NHS is being overwhelmed because it has had, you know, budget cuts and budget cuts and budget cuts over the years. Staff have been underpaid and overworked for bloody decades. We need to sort out the NHS. But can I be a devil's advocate? In case there's another thing like this. But can I be a devil's advocate insofar as something like the NHS, which is a remarkable um, service, national service, um, that tries to cater for so many people in so many different ways, it's... There's almost an inevitability that the amount of money it would take to keep it functioning fully, it's a challenge. I, I don't know Nothing what the solution like the to that is. Nothing like the money that has been spent on wasting no, no, on no, the no, economy. No, 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 I agree, I agree. Because if the NHS had been supported, it wouldn't, we wouldn't, young people would have been able mm. to continue. If people, if, if older people had wanted to take the risk and ended up in hospital, they would have been able to be looked after. Mm. You, we've got a strength in the NHS. Yeah. I mean, look at that poor girl, the picture of that poor nurse. No, I know. Work, work to death. And yeah. also, I mean, I was hearing on the news earlier today that, you know, a lot of hospitals, when we hear these reports I'm at the so moment about, about wards and ICU, uh, the ICUs being at, at, at sort of tipping points, it's because a lot of other people are now going in for other things. You know, there is an influx now at this yeah. time of year. Yeah. And also, after, if you think about it, think about the sort of stopgap that there's been of all those people for nine months because of coronavirus yeah. and they haven't been able to get treatment. So you've got people that. People have you've had got, their cancer treatment yeah. stopped halfway yeah. through. I mean, so if you've got shocking. that influx happening now at the same time, as the potential for, for COVID to kind of, you know, go up. Mm. I mean, but again, we talked about it this morning, didn't we, guys? It's like, you you know, you you fly one way and you go, right, lockdown helps in the short term, and then you fly in the other direction, and, and you think, but of course, as soon as you come out of lockdown, it's going to go up again. So what, what do we do? What do we do? I, well, I was trying to say this to guys. I don't know. I know, just don't know. It's a bugger. Nicola Sturgeon announced a £500 bonus payment for NHS staff in Scotland. Mm. Yeah, that's good. That is good. Yeah. Any news, any news on Vlogmas? Well, it's Not coming. Enough. It's coming. And behind this camera is the debris and chaos of our first Vlogmas. So, so yeah, precious NHS. Let's be thinking and, and, call, and, and praying for our precious, precious NHS. Exactly. Um, Make Biden. sure everyone, whatever government that you don't cut, 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 support. They need to be supported. Yeah. And never mind that those all those politicians coming out on their steps and clapping their hands, you know. Yeah. 
it's it's all the time in between, my dear friends. No, absolutely. I think I really felt when I saw that that tweet from that nurse, I was like, yeah. wow, that just reminds everybody. Yeah. <laughs> what about this Buckingham Palace guy who's nicked all these medals and photos from the Queen's London residence? Is it's he? a naughty boy, well, I don't isn't know about it? That. Yeah, a catering assistant has pleaded guilty to stealing photos oh and medals God. from the Queen's official London residence. God, how did they catch him? I guess he should probably try to sell them. Some oh of the goods God. worth ten to hundred thousand pounds were listed for sale on eBay. Oh, what an idiot! What a twit! What an absolute, what an absolute twit. twit! What about Welsh pubs and restaurants being banned from selling alcohol? I know. What's How's that, that about? Work? <laughs> What's that about? Well, how do you how do you open if you're if you can't sell the very thing that you're designed to sell? Do these people not understand that what will happen is people will go into houses and drink? Yeah, and. The rates of infections, the most dangerous place to be is in a house all squished together. So I, I don't understand that. Yeah, alcohol bans. Pubs, restaurants and cafes in Wales will be banned from serving alcohol from Friday. But you know why this is? This is because after their 17-day seven fire break lockdown, the numbers are going up again. I mean, this, oh, there's God. an inevitability to this. Are we, are we mad? Mm. I mean, I, what until do, we've got that vaccine going, we've yeah. got to just sit tight. Yeah, really absolutely, are. absolutely. Matt Hancock was out and about again tonight. Worry about door-to-door uh, -door carol singing. Well, that can't happen. Door-to-door -door carol singing probably shouldn't take place no, in Scotland must this not. Christmas. Because well, no, if you must... think about it, you're spraying. Yeah, of course you are, especially you. If you were standing <laughs> there giving it, your oh, the country's national clinical director suggested, amid concerns, it could increase the risk of transmitting. Is this only in Scotland? Meanwhile, Downing Street has confirmed that Santa's grottos will be allowed in England in those venues that are permitted to open. I don't know how I'd feel about sitting on Santa Claus's lap as grotto. a grotto. Well, I wouldn't want to go into a grotto. Grottos sound pretty small, don't they? Mm. And, and badly ventilated. Grottos generally are badly ventilated. I know this from working in Lapland. Mm. Um, we know that shops could open 24 hours a day over Christmas. What do you I think, think about that's that? That's ridiculous. What do you have meant to ask I you? Think what it's you ridiculous. <laughs> so we're still going to be working the. Irate from Tunbridge Wells. No, but I mean, who's going to. I mean, we might get the old straggler in at three o'clock in the morning. But I know it's what you ridiculous. mean. Ridiculous. I know what you mean. Yeah, who's going to be shopping at 5 a.m.? And is that really going to help? Why don't you just silly. extend the hours or make silly. them earlier, like 7 yeah, till, I don't know. it's just silly, silly. It's just silly. <laughs> just plain old silly billy. It's just silly. It's silly billy boo. Silly billy. And Rita Ora is sorry. Thank you. Uh, someone mentioned it. It flew up. Rita Ora has apologised after breaking lockdown rules. And she's reportedly paid £10,000, hasn't she? Mm. The, 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 the Apparently fine. she offered to pay it because those fines are no longer in place. Ah. Apparently she offered when she the police said came. She made a misguided and spur of the moment decision to attend a party restaurant in West London. Well, there you go. Oh, it was in a restaurant. It yeah. a bit silly, isn't it? Yeah, I know. So there you go. So there's not much news knocking about tonight, guys. So there you go. That's it. Doctor Who, Bradley Walsh, and Tosin Cole to lead companion roles. Mm. I'm not a Whovian, I'm afraid. I'm not a Whovian. I'm not a Whovian. Uh, and Matt, Matt Hancock. Looking urgent at his lectern. Mm. Looking so urgent. What's going to happen if the Tory, if the rebellion happens with the tears? Will the tears not be able to go? What, I mean, what will happen? That's a good question. Let's ask everyone. What, well, I, I'm not entirely certain. So what have you read? You, you mentioned this about 20 minutes ago. Have you read the... Well, it was just in Matt Hancock's um, uh, uh, press conference. He was urging MPs to vote for yes. it. Yes. You know, desperate. He looked worried. You know, he's saying we need to do this to keep the virus down. Mm. So. Well, I, I just don't believe that um, the Labour, la Labour, oh, Labour are abstaining, Claire Yardley Coco. No, no, there's a lot of talk about. No, Claire, yeah, are Labour abstaining? If Labour are abstaining, then he will lose the vote. Why are they abstaining? Why are, La odd. Why are Labour abstaining? Because do they. What do you mean? I think they sent blud. What Keir do you mean Starmer they're said his MPs are abstaining from the vote. Well, all of them. How can you abstain what? from something? What? Huh? You can't not have an opinion. She just farted <laughs> again. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Such overexertion of all opinion. All right, don't draw bloody attention to it. What do you mean? It was so loud oh it my ricocheted God. around YouTube. <laughs> Other YouTubers currently can hear that. Nadia, Helen Mayhew. Oh, it's because I've had so many vegetables today. Yeah, Elizabeth Gordon. I think Labour, if Labour are abstaining, having supported the government on previous mo uh, motions, 
<laughs> motions. Um, then this is hang on, hang on, because I wasn't concentrating. Say it again. I don't understand. What's happening so, about now? How can they abstain? So if the Labour Party have support, they supported the government through yeah. lockdown because Keir Starmer yeah, yeah, suggested yeah, it earlier, yeah, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Um, I think this very much smacks of Starmer wanting to scenting blood, and that's why that is why the Tories are panic stricken because then they'll be defeated. No, but, but, but hang on, I know. Don't what forget. are the optics for those MPs and their and their constituents? And the constituents, some in some of their MPs will want a tier system. Some of them won't, and yet their MP is going to go. Oh, I'm not saying nothing. Well, I think it's a, I think it's a dereliction of duty. I, I don't think it's a dereliction of your job. I don't think politicians should abstain for anything. But I don't understand anything. what reason they're giving for abstaining. Well, I don't you either. don't know either. No, I How don't. come you don't know? Because I haven't you seen the everything. story. We've just come out of watching The Undoing. I'm sorry. I do know everything. <laughs> but every... you know everything. Yeah, but I don't know Who why. Who knows? Somebody knows. How can well, they... Sky, I think... How can they abstain? Aren't they paid to have an opinion? Oh, God, no. Don't be ridiculous. I know I know how, why and how they can, but... No, no. Of course they can. No, I know they can, but why are they? Well... I feel like we're on a bloody parallel universe here, going round and round in the same circle. Um, oh, look. Here we go. Labour to abstain on COVID tears vote. Why? In the national interest has revealed that Labour will abstain vote on the new COVID amid dozens. Da, 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 da. The Labour leader accepted the need for continued COVID restrictions, but voiced his concerns about Boris Johnson. It's an opportunity to pull down Boris Johnson. No, but that's what I mean. When they just look like that, when it just look opportunistic. Yes. Coronavirus remains a serious threat to the public's health. And that's why Labour accept the need for restrictions. But we will also act in the national interest, so we not we will not vote against it. They're playing it. What? So they're not going to vote against them, right? But they're not going to vote for them. But by abstaining, this feels you'll like vote... a terribly huge game. But if by by abstaining, you are voting against them. Of course you are, because he knows. Because they'll know exactly what he he. I mean, he can't go for asking for a lockdown to then abstaining from the Molly 26 Rose says that he, uh, Boris Johnson will still have a majority. I realise they don't count as votes against, but there's something about like 70 Tory MPs, aren't 70, there? 70, yeah. yeah. But I suppose what they will do, it'll only be 70 of the total number of Tories voting. So it still won't, it still won't lose it. But I think, so I think the Tories are a bit scared. But today, Matt Hancock's saying, I'm urging MPs across the House mm. to vote. We need the vote, so... Mm. Mrs O says, please, please sing Tears Are Not Enough by Spandau Ballet. I don't know it. How does it go? I don't know. Let's find the, let's find the lyrics. I don't think it's Tears Are Not I won't enough. know it. I won't know the tune. Tears Are Not Enough. It's a charity single. Oh, right. I don't oh. know it. No, I don't know that either. either. <laughs> oh. Sorry, otherwise I would, but I just don't know it. You know Nads, you give her a line and I she'll, she'll sing it. Sing country better. Sing wise of angels. She just went with sing. Sing in exaltation. Sing in the... It wasn't the grass that tickled you. Someone's asking. Don't overexert. Da, 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 da. Don't overexert. <laughs> There's a lot of singing in the bloody first Vlogmas. Vlogmas is tomorrow, guys. Yeah, I'm first Vlogmas. Um, and you're going to be getting a rogue vlog because we've got a load of backed up material. So you're going to be getting a, a rogue vlog landing at some point during the day tomorrow as well. So lots of content. Um, I'm going to go to bed now. I'm going to take this hat off and I'm going to go I've to bed. I've got to go read my book. Yes, she does. About making a psychopath. Yes. So, guys, have a safe evening. We will see you. It's December the 1st tomorrow. So that will be, is it, so will tomorrow be the last night shift? No, December the 2nd will be the last night shift because that's the last day of lockdown. So only two more. And then, and Vlogmas is kicking in too. So it's going to be a busy couple of days the next couple of days. There's going to be a lot of content flying around. So if you don't get notifications, keep coming back to the community page and we'll keep letting you know what's going on. All right? And if you're new to this, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And oh, then yeah. you'll always know when we're here and alive. Absolutely, Monty. Anyway, I'm going to go and do some elf dancing because that's so cool. Nighty-night. Nighty-night.